Hi, my name is Jimmy Flanagan. I'm running for Austin City Council District 6, and I'm asking for your vote because I know we can fix Austin together. I'm a 20-year resident of Austin, coming here to attend the University of Texas. I started my small business out of my dorm room, building websites for student organizations, and I moved to Northwest Austin 16 years ago. My experience as a small business owner led me to become involved in a lifetime of advocacy, first with helping small and local businesses get started, create jobs, and navigate City Hall, and then expanding into work on traffic solutions and raising the level of civic involvement in Northwest Austin. I bring over a decade of service and leadership on city issues as the former president of the Austin Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, member of the Greater Austin Chamber's Transportation Committee, and co-founder and organizer of the Northwest Austin Coalition. I've spent my life solving problems, building consensus, and making our community a better place. In 2013, I co-founded the Northwest Austin Coalition to advocate on the new city districts and help bring good information about the city to District 6 and other parts of Northwest Austin. We've brought out issue experts, held candidate forums, and worked through many city concerns. Then last year, one District 6 resident, Diane Owens, came to me because her son, suffering with a disability, could not safely get to the bus stop on Anderson Mill Road. So we took our work a step further and conducted the first ever citizen-led corridor study on Anderson Mill Road. We didn't wait for the city when we knew we had the resources ourselves to get the work done. We held public meetings, built online tools, and went door to door to get feedback and build support for the project, including organizing to ensure its inclusion in the citywide mobility ATX report. As a result of that effort, Anderson Mill Road was the only single road in that entire report. The work didn't end there as our corridor study and the hard work of my fellow neighbors got Anderson Mill Road included in Mayor Adler's transportation bond. There is now more than $5 million slated to fix District 6's worst road, along with $17 million for Palmer Lane and $7.5 million for Four Points. Working together, we can expand this citizen-led effort to other problem roadways in our district, such as Spicewood and McNeil, Duval and Lakeline and Nina. We can also go farther and coordinate with TxDOT to implement realistic improvements to state roads such as 183, 620, 2222, and Palmer Lane. While traffic is a big issue affecting our lives, it certainly isn't the only one. We also need to get serious about neighborhood safety and affordability. It's time to finally build the Northwest Austin Police Substation, which will help reduce response times and support patrols in our neighborhoods. We must also expand civilian staff to support neighborhood watch and educate residents about how to better protect their homes and cars against property crime. This is a fiscally responsible solution, which will help keep our highly trained, badged officers doing the critical community policing we need as a growing city. But the growth of our city must also be a benefit to those of us who helped make it such a special place, and that means directly addressing affordability and utility bills. We must explore a new business model for Austin Water that acknowledges the no-win situation of trying to pay for water infrastructure while encouraging people to use less water. That includes real resolution to the water meters and surprise bills, which will take more citizen-led efforts for meter monitoring and accountability. Similarly, we need to build more housing in Austin where there exists supportive infrastructure. District 6 knows firsthand that when Central Austin doesn't build, people still come. And that development happens in Cedar Park and Round Rock, adding to our Northwest Austin traffic quagmire without adding to the tax rolls to help fix the problem. These are just some of the solutions I want to implement with your help. But this election isn't just about my solutions or the citizen-led efforts that are both fiscally responsible and effective. This is also about the kind of leadership we want for District 6. It's time to put an end to the wastefulness of governance by lawsuit. It's time to put an end to the embarrassment of bullying kids, clergy, and constituents and it's time to put an end to the failure of our voices being silenced because of abstentions and false promises. When you go to the polls starting early on October 24th or election day on November 8th, or if you're voting by mail, make sure you go all the way down the ballot to vote for me for city council. My name is Jimmy Flanagan. I'm running to be your next council member for Austin District 6, and I'm asking for your vote because I know that we can fix Austin together.